done to her. Turn it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. That is one very large creature. Forbidden West. We are now on episode 8, The Dying Lands. And we are about to speak to Varl and Zoe. So without further ado, let us begin. Yes, exit photo mode. There we are. Okay. Here we go. I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. Okay. Um, defense cordon. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the Cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. And what kind of machines? What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. And deep divisions? I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. How did Varl help? You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray. There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. 
I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs. And even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. <laughs> nice. Uh, the land gods. Hey, and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. And after the derangement? So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach. Even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization. Spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart. Like Ray. They're dying. In my tribe with them. The sacred cave? So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, once a year, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Fa so la me do? Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared. Two days later, shining anew, all soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hollowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. Three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? It sounds like it. But the way these land gods would come and go, it... It's not like anything I've seen before. All right. And the chorus. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. All right. Sounds good. We just need to replenish our supply, I guess. Did you repair your bow yet? Let's uh, listen to this rumor. <clears throat> Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsaw. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. 
Nice. Sounds like the Utaru could use some backup against Tanakh Rebels. Yeah, it does. Uh, where's my resupply? It's gotta be around here somewhere. see it <clears throat> the one in here maybe there we go there we go excellent so Bench. Need to craft a few of these. Okay. Mm. Talk to Ivana. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regal as champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds? You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. Bet I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Nice. Hunting grounds. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure you noticed, but I did move my uh, camera down. I'm hoping to not hide anything. So we should be good with everything on screen. So let's see how that goes. We need to that way. May the wind carry. Nervous. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. This works. Right. It'll be worth it, so you'll see. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? You know what? Let's go. All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. 
and become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. Yeah. All right. Out the gate and around. Let's go. Fighting in the fields ahead. Seen these machines before. They must have come from the cordon. Yes, the other cordon. We have to move. We need to keep moving. Can the others hold out? Right. <laughs> And that is barely hurting it. There we go. Do 
you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then... Yeah. I just noticed I was off camera. Then let's press on to the cordon. Woo, goodness. Take all this. There's one up here too, right? Machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There! A weak spot! There's more than just Minerva behind this. I'll bring that machine down! Can you bring down it goes? Go. Oof. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the court. More machines. Take them out, Aloy. On your lead.
There we go. Gracious. Oof. Goodness. Back up there. What's going on? Come on, get up there. Gracious. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? There we go. It's over. to the cave. Vertical shock traps are now available to craft and place. These special traps can damage flying targets as well as enemies on the ground and will stun vulnerable targets with shock damage. Very nice. Let's continue. May the land gods forgive our trespass. I like your nearby climbing spots. What is that? A kind oh. of wall made of light. 
We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Up here! Be prepared. Cool. Keep running around. Big jump. Which way? Let's go. Well, we're now on the other side of that. Something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. Right. And it wants us dead. <laughs> Follow my lead and be ready for anything. to find the core of this place. All right. Aloy, going somewhere? Are you not? Coming? Come on. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Gracious. There we go. Oof. Keep filling up a little bit there. Go. Thank you, Varl. So this is a cauldron where machines are born. 
If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. Ooh. In here. In Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. That would have been nice to know that was there. the door again <laughs> and I moved my camera down so that I didn't hide anything and I literally just saw that I'm hiding something oh. it never fails all right here we go Cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I sent, that wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Panels on the floor. Oh. Huh. Still in this floor panel. Activated something. Looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. That works! Lock into place. Okay. That did something. How are you doing, Zoe? This place was meant for the land gods. No, no Utaru has ever set foot in here. But I had to, right? To help you and Aloy. To find Fa. You did the right thing, Zoe. Woo. So, can you stand on that panel? Like this? Good. Stay there. There. Should be able to climb on the More pillars. Might be a way across if I can get them into the right position. Another floor panel. Gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. Interesting. Nope. Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. Come on. Jump up. Up. Go. This crate should be heavy enough. <clears throat> Can't fit the crate through that opening. I think I can get the crate through that shield, but I'll have to go around. on the pillars should be exposed now. Nice shot, Illinois! 
Oh! Set of pillars. Drawing back. We can climb up that vent. We'll climb up. There you are. All right, let's go. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Gracious. There's an uplink over there. Cold winter in here. Far removed from the walls. Okay. There's another node on the other side, near that door. Go to your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? Begin fueling log unit G mark one. There's still no sign of fog. It's a big place. We'll keep looking. It 
Could there be a way over that way? Maybe? Like if I glided down there? I mean, I don't really see another way, so... Nice. Climb up. No! No, no, no! Get off. Get off. That's back to them. I don't want to go back to them. Although... It's over here. Oh. Hey, up there? Doesn't look like it. Nope. I keep hurting myself. <laughs> I think I can hitch a ride on one of those metal carriers. to Carl there you go what does it want with this place it's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good Alright, here goes nothing. One very large creature. We have to get down there. Huh? 
That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should no. be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. It'll be nice. I'll probably need that quite a bit. Um, let's place one of these. Then over here, another one. We are going to be placing all of these because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to die like five times at least. Oh, don't run into my trap. Oh, fine. Cool. Um, let's run over here then. And let's get this party started. Go. There it goes. Ooh. 
ring a machine that nearly killed us? It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? One step at a time. But it starts now. we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Alright. Sorry. I fought that whole thing with my camera off, I think. I'm sorry about that. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. Override. Pull that up. Let's... How to tame machines. There we go. Let's get all this stuff. Another one over here. Yeah, I think I took all my traps out. Okay, well, let's do this again. Crafted overrides. Wish I knew how to restore them. And there's data here from machines. Plowhorn, bristleback. Nice. Yes. Let's press on then. Completed main quest. The Dying Lands. Got two skill points. Nice. New face paint unlocked. Excellent. Level 17 reached. Excellent. Another skill point. Where is everyone? Oh, up here. Well, everyone, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Greetings, graduates of Cradle 9. Welcome to the regional... Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly.